It's time for another round of Hot GPT. Our topic today is six things to avoid when doing social media marketing. Let's go. Start generating. Now, why? Why, why, why are we talking about this? Well, my guest on Thursday is Pranav Yadav. CEO of Neural Insight USA. We're talking about marketing and the brain part of marketing. He figures out, and he'll explain how, it's very interesting, how we can measure which ads work and which don't. He works with a bunch of the Super Bowl advertisers, so it's super interesting. Now, I bring up this topic about social media marketing because I am, you know, I'm working on my own stuff. So I've been studying and learning and I want to share the things I've been learning with you because so many of you, whether it's a business or your personal brand, you're doing social media marketing. And it is tricky because social media marketing, there's a couple things. Number one is there's so many darn platforms. I mean, seriously, it's like Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, there's other ones, I'm sure. So that's number one. It's just like, what? And they're all different. And they all require different things. Number two is that, you know, it's just like a never-ending treadmill. Once you start doing it, it just never stops. And so I just try to think about how can you do this in a way that doesn't feel horrible, like a burden, Because otherwise, you know, if it's a burden, you're not going to do it. So that's kind of the thing, right? So let's just jump right in. Six things to avoid when doing social media marketing. I know it sounds very negative, but we don't want to do these things. Number one, don't try to hit all the darn platforms. Okay. This is one thing I remember a couple years ago. Somebody was like, you have to be on Snapchat. Well, I don't I don't like Snapchat. I, I just find it irritating because like it all just is ephemeral. It's gone. And that's fine if you're trying to send somebody something like a text or something, then who cares? But when you're creating content, I want to be able to go back to that and use it for other things or just understand what happened with that. And so I abandoned that. And you know what? I'm glad I didn't miss it for a day. And the more I think about my sort of approach, it's like you know, Facebook, like who's on Facebook anymore? I mean, it's like a graveyard. Twitter, it's so nasty on there. It's a terrible place. I mean, even if you can, you know, reach people, it's like you're, you're, you're squeezed between conspiracy theories and misinformation. Like, I don't want to be there. I barely use it anymore. I have determined the places I want to be are Instagram and LinkedIn. And I don't, TikTok, I I don't know how to think about that. It's probably going to get banned anyway. But, you know, thinking about where you want to be, and that that really comes down to who are your people you're trying to reach and where are they? What do they use on the internet? Maybe Snapchat's the right place for you. Maybe LinkedIn's the only one you need. It just depends. But really, really hard to cover them all, and it's exhausting, and you're not going to want to do it. So don't try to be everywhere. Number two, don't be afraid of video. I was afraid of video for a long time. Now, why would you say would I be afraid of video? Well, it's annoying because, you know, say you wake up that day and you just don't feel very good looking or you don't want to comb your hair or whatever. Well, doing video is annoying because, you know, it's your face. And I know that there's this whole authenticity thing. Like, it doesn't really matter what you look like. And I, I see, like, influencers from Gen Z that, you know, they, they're like trying to look bad, but I'm not that way. So I found that annoying. But what I have learned actually is that video is everything. And we are going hard into video this year. It's my big goal. And you've seen probably everybody else, right? Like everybody's doing reels, 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 reels. There's a reason it works. So do not be afraid of video. All right, we got four more. After the break, I'll be right back. FOMO. FOMO. All right, 
Pat GPT back from a break. Even Pat GPT needs a little break. Number three on the six things to avoid when doing social media marketing. Do not forget to have a call to action. And this is hard. And by the way, not every content piece will have a CTA, a call to action. But understanding what you want the person who is watching to take away, whether it's an action, ideally, or, you know, sometimes it's just a clear message, super important. Now, sometimes we just do these things for fun. But if you're in the world of marketing and you want people to change their behavior, change their way of seeing the world, buy your product, whatever, you have to tell them what you want them to do. So a good call to action is please click on this link, right? Really important. And and I think, you know, it's like I took me years to figure that one out. Still working on it. We're getting closer. Number four, do not post once and then never post again or post like once a week. You have to create a media habit for people. Have you noticed that FOMO Sapiens has a Tuesday show and a Thursday show, Patchy PT and the interview? We're trying to create a media habit. I hope it's a, a nice habit. I hope it is a habit. <laughs> but it's sort of like, you know, it's it's a lot of work, but posting every day, that's where you really build massive following the algorithm sort of pick you up. And so you have to do it every day. And what's helpful is to plan it out in advance. Like on Sunday, record your five videos. You don't have to do seven days a week. Like give yourself a break for goodness sake. But then you can post them every morning. But really think about, you know, can you create an ongoing flow of great content with a CTA that's in video? You know, I'm linking it all together here. You see what I'm doing? That's the, the, the magic. Number five, do not try to be all things to all people. Know your audience. So when you're creating content, whether it's written or video or whatever, think about who you're talking to. Like when I'm talking right now, I know who you guys are. First of all, I know some of you. Actually, I know you. But also I know who listens to the show. I know what the demographics are. I understand We've done focus groups. I understand what you're looking for. Now, I, I maybe I get it wrong sometimes, but I generally have a sense of what is meaningful to you and what will make your day better. And so I try to then address that in what I do. And so thinking about as you, you know, you, you're doing marketing for a reason, who's the consumer? Who is the consumer you're trying to reach? That will guide you in all the other steps. And finally, don't be impatient. This stuff takes time. It takes real time. Like half the people who have huge followings, it's all bought. It's fake. Like you see somebody with 133,000 Instagram followers and they have 19 likes. It's all fake. Creating real engagement. It's, it's a long-term project. Like I don't know how. There's some people just get lucky. But most people, they take time to do it. And by the way, you know, having the biggest following is not the goal. Having a relevant following, that's the goal. So those are my six things to avoid. They're all things that, you know, it's hard to get it right all the time, but they're things to keep in mind. And if you do those things, your time, your ROI, return on investment, the time you spend on this stuff will be much higher. All right, we'll be back on Thursday with another episode of FOMO Sapiens. Until then, take care of yourselves, FOMO Sapiens, and Pat GPT, stop generating. FOMO. FOMO Sapiens is recorded in New York City. Theme music is by Mike McGinnis, and editing and post-production is by Josh Elstro. If you like today's show, please be sure to rate it and recommend it to your friends. And as always, you can find me at FOMOSapiens.com and at PatrickMcGinnis.com. To advertise on FOMO Sapiens, reach out to contact at FOMOSapiens.com.